watching, and I wasn't going to talk, but something is really, really bothering me, and I hope all of you guys are paying attention to. The supervisor, while all of you guys are talking, is doodling. Mm -hmm. She's not listening yeah, to you yeah, guys. Yeah, she's yeah. not even looking at you guys. Notes. Yeah, she's I'm doodling. Not. She's scribbling. She's not even writing notes. <laughs> she's doodling. I'm listening. Pay attention. I'm listening. Interact. I'm listening. Look at the people that I'm are listening. voting for you, that have paid, that are paying their taxes. You can't tell me your I'm money, not listening. Your, your paycheck. Thank you. Stop doodling. Listen to these people. And Mr. Noble, with all due respect, every single bill that you guys pay for the attorneys are everybody in this building and everybody that lives in this community. It's their business. Yes, it is. They're paying those. For you to get upset with Ms. Mrs. Miller for doing her job and sending those FOIAs out is, I can't even comprehend why you're upset about that. That is her job. It is our right as taxpaying citizens to know what those bills are. And the fact that you guys tried, you tried to silence their presentation again? Inexcusable. Listen to the people that are paying your paycheck. Stop doodling. Interact. Look at people when they're talking to you, like everybody else on this board is. That's all. I knew you when you was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, all, Bill, you know me, I lived in California for a while. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Of course, I, I said my name, Dana Snowden, and uh, Tipsica Lake Road. But, you know, I want to talk to the board here. Okay. I'm a stunt Republican. I supported Trump. I campaigned for Trump. And I'm going to tell you right now, any board that's coming up for election, I don't care who you are, it could be Bill, you run on the Republican Party, I guarantee you, you're going to win. You will win. We support our firemen. We support officers, give me a ticket. <laughs> I never got one, that's a joke. <laughs> but anyway, listen, listen to the people, you know. We don't want to end up like Washington State, Minneapolis, New York, where it's crazy, crime takes over. They want to kick the police out, they want to kick the firemen out, they want to kick the hospital workers out, they want to bring in illegals to come in and work in these places. We got to stand up for America. No more, look at the American citizens we got here. You're an American citizen. See that sign behind you? In God we trust. We've got to trust in God. Remember, elections are coming up. This is going to be the biggest takeover. And I don't care who you are. You run as a Republican, you will win. All right, all right. I just have to back that up. That's absolutely fine, but this is a non-partisan situation. It doesn't, we, it doesn't matter which uh, side you're on or anything of that type. We all have heart and lungs, and we need people to help us. And certain things divide us, and then we get on this team type of a thing. We're all a team. We're all for each other. And like I said again, the drama is cancer. And again, I don't know people who are involved, and it's great that way because I don't have this opinion. But if a person on the board or whatever, if they're not doing their job, and I don't know, then find somebody who will. It's just simple because you never had to tell a lot of our firefighters here had to tell people that their husband or their daughter has died and they didn't it wasn't on some particular team it was the fact that they're a human being it's the fact that it was compassion so all these divisions and things let's stop that let's just go on one accord and let it be to the good of all of you that are in the uh, area, which is Holly at Rose Township. Okay, thank
Thank you. My name is Randy Finkbrenner. I'm a Holly Township resident, but I'm also a member of the uh, Fire Authority. Uh, I've been there 34 years, so I'm one of the longer standing members. Ten years before that, I was a member with Mount Horse Township. So I'm not new to the fire service. We've had administrations, we've had boards, we've had representatives that fund us, but each one of you sitting up here are elected. You're not elected to do your own personal business. You're not elected to do your own personal grievances. You're elected to represent each and every citizen in this township. Whether they like you or not, you are elected to do that. I'm going to say the same thing at the Holly Township meetings because they need to hear it too. So you got to get off of these vendettas. You got to get off of the not paying attention. You got to pay attention to the people that are speaking, which from my visual aspects, this board doesn't do it. The Fire Authority Board absolutely doesn't do it. They could care less. They, matter of fact, they just drag themselves into the meeting. And individually, I think we've got some great people there. But collectively, they don't get along. I don't always agree with each and every one of them, and some of them I do. But you guys got to get off of your personal vendettas. You've got to start representing the citizens. You've got to start letting us do our jobs. Because when somebody does not have an ambulance come, they do not have a fire truck come, there's nobody to come get you. I don't care if it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 2 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't matter. That is dead because you had a personal agenda, because you didn't like the fire chief, because you didn't like the decision. That's wrong. You can't do that. Represent your people. You are elected to do so. P.J. Kravitz, Springfield Township resident, health and safety officer, Northland County Fire Authority. I've been on the Fire Authority for about six years now. Up until a few months ago, I've been on Springfield Fire for 15 years. I got introduced to North Oakland and the team here when doing my officer classes. At that time, Springfield Fire was going through quite a bit of turmoil with their board, chiefs, no chief, and I found an opportunity at North Oakland. Throughout my officer classes, I met a lot of a lot of the officers on the department, including Chief Lintz, and looked at him as a mentor and as what I respected a fire what I respected and also what I believed a fire chief should be, which is not something Springfield had had at that up until that point. I put my neck out, actually, honestly, Captain Kettle put his neck out for me to get me on here, because at that time, Chief Lynch really wasn't hiring out of district EMTs, gave me a chance. I've been here six years. Unfortunately, due to work circumstances and everything else, I've resigned from Springfield, but I've been in this business for almost 15 years. It would have been 15 years in May. I'm here to tell you that the issues within this department, the issues that you guys are trying to blame why the union unionize, the gentleman, that, the full-time guys that unionize, it is not the chief. It is the fire board. That is where the issues lie. I would walk through the gates of hell behind that man because I have that respect for him. I will continue to stay here, but if he goes, I go. I started as a paramedic only for North Oakland five years ago. I was hired as a paramedic only to staff the trucks. Chief Lentz came up to me one day and he goes, you gonna go do the fire academy? I'm like, nah, I'm not a firefighter. A week later, comes up to me again and goes, I think you should go to the fire academy. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try. So then I had to go through a physical agility test to prove that I could do the job. I might be a big girl, but I can still do it. Chief has put me through Fire Academy, taught me to test my strengths and weaknesses that I didn't even know I had. He has sent me to classes 
so that I could also become an instructor coordinator. He has believed in me. I've been here for five years. He's offered me tons of experience. Stand by him too. How you guys doing? I'm uh, Trooper Kelly, Michigan State Police. Um, I just wanted to hit on a couple of things. One, I'm not a resident of this area, but I want to let you guys know I work all of Oakland County. Uh, we pick areas we want to work. I specifically pick the North Oakland area. You guys are awesome. Every time I deal with you, even if I'm taking someone to jail, I mean, we ride with the music on the whole way to jail. You guys are <laughs> literally, you guys are great. I, uh, I choose this area every time because I love Rose Township, Groveland, Holly. You guys are just really helpful no matter what I'm doing. Um, with that being said, I'm not going to talk too much on uh, what the board has to do or what they do. I'm going to talk on like a law enforcement standpoint. Um, just understand, I know you know, money is always an issue, obviously. I'm not going to pretend to know what they have going on with the budget or you know, what they have going on, bringing to the table. But from my experience, um, private industries regarding EMS services, that they do take a lot longer. Okay, And if that slows down, understand our services do slow down as well. Okay, if I go to a suicidal subject, I get there, you know, everything's secure. I can't leave until they show up, evaluate them, determine if we need to transport them to a hospital. You know, if that's taken 30 minutes, that's 30 minutes I'm staying on the scene with this individual, not able to answer other calls. Okay, uh, just understand your guys' area, you know, you don't elect to have the Oakland County Sheriff's Department cover you up. Rather, you chose us. That's a great decision. Hey, we're better trained. I mean, we got better, we got better uniforms. It's uh, the whole whole nine, okay? Um, and you let us listen to music. Yeah, I mean, you know. So I'm, but yeah, I really want you to take a look at uh, the response time because that's what I'm, I'm really going to notate. And every time I go there, sometimes they beat us to the calls, okay? We are our detachments out of the Groveland area, Dixie, and uh, Grange Hall. You get a call at the corner of Rose Township. Put in my GPS, 25, 30 minutes, okay? I get there, they're already securing the scene, doing stuff that I would have to do. They already have it taken care of. Um, if we're having a private agency, um, or I don't really know what the deal is, but I'm just letting you know, if you go private, it's going to take a lot longer. It's going to slow down your uh, police operations as well. But I also want to let the board know, you guys are taking a lot of heat tonight. Um, I respect what you guys are doing. This job isn't always easy, but just do know, they do care, even though I'm sure all of you have some different opinions on that. There's a reason they, they got on the board. They, they do care. They're trying to do what's best. Sometimes there's things we don't see. So just keep that in mind. But thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. comments, but um, I was going to do a little math and uh, come up with the amount of money that could have been, been uh, diverted for the for NACFA if uh, these people would uh, not waste money on things like repainting this place, the township, the old township hall, the personal assistant for the supervisor, there's, there's a, a list. Um, but uh, I just want you to know that uh, every month they uh, try to outdo themselves. They think they've got everybody's, everybody whipped. So one month they really showed us when they, when Diane broke her gavel and they all gathered up and head for the door. And then Gamka, he really showed us off when he tried to assault me. And then tonight, it couldn't have been better. They showed their lack of public trust and their lack of conduct when they were going to not allow uh, PJ to speak. And now they still haven't taken any action on, on Stouffer. It, you're, just, you're just ridiculous. You're, you're awful. As some people say, you're evil. But we, it even got better when Diane was exposed for criminal conduct just now when she's using public money for her own 
uh, litigation. So this is going to be fantastic. It, it, this couldn't have worked out better. Tonight was the greatest night. And, and we all know a couple more things that uh, we're never going to be having any more coffee at the coffee shop in Holly. Board <clears throat> Captain Seal, uh, North Oakland County Fire Authority, Senior Training Officer, and all that other titling that I get assigned. Uh, also, the President of the North Oakland County Firefighters Union. And I want to make one thing clear because this has come up more than once. I assure you that the union did not form as is put out there due to a lack of leadership, the lack of management, the union formed because we lost any voice at the table with the fire board. Our voice used to be through the fire chief. The fire chief used to go ahead and negotiate with the board for wages and everything else. He was silenced. Once he got silenced, we as employees lost our right and lost our voice. So the only other option at that point is to organize. And then we will have our voice at the table with the fire board, and that does not have to go through the fire chief. And now we are protected by laws. Uh, we are protected by binding arbitration. And we are protected by everything that is found under Merck. So in no way, shape, or form did this union organize due to poor leadership. Just want to make sure here and now in a public meeting that that's clear. Thank you. Anybody else? It's 8.53 and move to adjourn.